Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man, look at this beautiful January 25th on a Monday morning. There was all kinds of accidents earlier today. Everything, uh, everything up in the hills, I guess, got snow, but you can see it's warm enough. All the snow's gone out of those little, the little foot mountains or foothills, whatever you want to call those. Little kai kai out there. But uh, along the freeway where the elevation goes up and down on the way to work, there was all kinds of accidents this morning. Crazy. So the snow event kind of happened, just not for us. A lot of other people got it. Man, it's got a bite to it this morning. But it uh, looks like the trip to work is normal, so it must have everything cleared up. No, hit, no snow hit the ground for us. Nope. But a lot of people it did, which is cool. It right, got you know. cold after it got clear. It sure did. <laughs> the thing froze up. Yep. All right. All right. Let's head on out. Sounds good. All right. Whoa there, little woman. I got, I got the backlight all behind you. You, you just look like a silhouette. I just had. Yeah. Bye, little Metzlers. I sure loved you guys for... Many thousands of miles, but yeah, I think you, I think you might be fading out. Yeah. Got to go with something I can repeatedly get, you know. Yeah. But as a few miles as I put on, by the time I uh, go to replace the DR tires the next time, the those will be yeah. out of stock. There'll be something else. Yeah. Something else. Anyway, welcome to Monday, and I will see you as the day goes on. Yeah, good. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Check this out. 2012 F800 GSA. Is that how the logos came back in 2012? That's pretty cool. I like it. It's like it echoes. Oh, well, chain maintenance would help, but that don't matter. At the moment, it don't matter. So hold this still here if I can. Very wisely, he did not ride this thing in here. I'll uh, I'll throw up a picture. I took a picture of it. It it actually destroyed the hub and everything. There is no bearings in the bearing. That was I need to roll it around in the shop. So I was able to come in with a. a a, a rod and line all the the collars that used to be parts of bearings together so I can get the axle to go back through so I got it so it'll roll but it's it's not rideable so uh that that was his main thing and then he's uh due for a service but he wants to see the wheel situation first so uh that's where we're at beautiful bike love those BRP motors man spider season all of a sudden 2014 getting trade in and the kind folks they said she said it was okay if they use their name so uh ken and joyce congratulations so happy that you're getting that demo that demo of all demos that one's got my heart in it so yes they're getting it he broke my bike broke it already broke it already how did he break it for the tank the tanser tank like, oh, and he goes, ah, ah, ah. Of course, I've got it all up on the, on the rack already. He was concerned about what the, because we don't have, we're not Suzuki, we don't have specs anymore. So he was going by that, uh, whatever that stupid thing that gives us specs. It's never right, I don't trust. So it's been kind of like a an old BMW day. This is a 2014 C650 GT. It says it right there. <laughs> It's in for uh, an annual service, and then there's a there's a brake hose recall from I don't know last year, whenever that was, and uh, it has that. We don't have the parts for it. Yeah, hardly any miles on it. It's crazy. The tires. So I come rolling down the hill with this thing, and man, it's all over the place. It had six pounds in the front. <laughs> and nine pounds in the rear it's supposed to be 35 
up to 42 depending on whether you're uh, two up luggage and stuff like that yeah crazy low that's nuts but it's like in perfect shape just like it's been sitting somewhere yes hub <laughs> <laughs> I like to surprise world. you no warning camera's on I know I gotta be ready at all times <laughs> so how'd your Monday go it went good that's good how was yours yeah it was good good you went smoothly I like it smooth yeah me too Mm -hmm. well, let's head to the Northland here, Mama. Sounds good. All right. Let's roll. Roll. And that went on there so nice. Somebody was saying they won't buy one of these because they don't want to mod their 21. If you look close, it, it looks absolutely factory. No one will ever, ever know. If you don't have a Dremel tool, you need to get a Dremel tool. <laughs> and after it mounted up, I didn't have to cut that because that's like really thin right there i mean you can push on it don't break but um as thin as that is i, I didn't have to go as thin i must have been holding it and, and i did my jigging incorrectly but it works good it's no big deal the one at the harley shop has it on there i bet you they did the exact same thing i don't like it that's such a good looking bike What's funny is, you come in here, this kind of sticks out. And then, you know, it's almost like I keep forgetting I got that 650. You don't forget when you ride it. That thing is some kind of fun. And as you know, we'll spend a lot of time on it. But it's important to get the mom all hooked up. You know what? I'm going to do something here right quick. Danny, thanks for your help. Do you want to show the peeps what we did? You want to show them what we did for mama? Ready? Ta-da! How cool is that? That's one of those new rugs we got. Dang, I didn't think that thing was that long. Of course, it's just going to get destroyed and dirty, probably. Look at the footprints already put on it. How about that? She'll like that. Dang, that thing's nice. That's quite proper for the old Himalayan to be sitting on there. Kind of got that Harley feeling about it with the with the skulls down here. <laughs> I feel like I'm zoomed in or something. It seems like I can't get far enough back to get a good look at it. It's pretty cool. How about that? You don't know how you're really unsafe out here by yourself? I crawled up on that stool to take a high shot to attempt at a thumbnail. I didn't realize that was a turning top on that thing. That was kind of interesting. But I stood there and fought through it and survived. So what I'm going to do, and I purposely saved some time for this. I was going to change the tires here, but I like to balance them as well. So I'm going to take, my, uh, take the wheels off. And um, bring the tires and new tubes to work. And uh, when I get a break uh, tomorrow, somewhere, I'll uh, put the I'll use the tire machine to put the tires on, and I use our spin balancer and balance them. Hope we got enough wheel weights on there because these use spoke weights. I don't like putting stick weights on spoke wheels, but as you can see, there's no weights on the front wheel. I ain't sure there's any weights on the back wheel. These old bridge stones were zeroed. And I I balanced these. I took them off and balanced them once. And they were zeroed out. Now, if bridge, bridge stone can do it. Can us do it? Can you guys do this? Can you zero balance out? I would really not, like not to have any weights on there. And, you know, if it was really close, I'll just let the ride-on do... Oh, I need to bring my bottles of ride-on, too. Because I purchased a couple bottles specifically for this. And I haven't put them in. But it wouldn't hurt to have a couple more. Because I haven't put ride-on... How many bottles do I have here? Well, I'll, I'll look. I think I originally got set up for... I know I got a set for their... I don't know now. I'll have to look. Because... I need to put some in hers 
And I need to put some in the beautiful, beautiful Continental 650. You guys probably don't know what to think of moving up over here to the Pacific Northwest. They're probably going, what's the deal? How come we don't get ridden every day? <laughs> it rains there, too. I've seen plenty of rain rides in India. That's for sure. But uh, mostly dry. All right. Let's get some wheels off of this gal. So I still haven't got to the DR. <laughs> I'm just doing just a quick little, just a little temp thing here. Something, something around like this. But heck, you can even do that and it won't even, you don't even have to destroy the bag. It can't come up. It's got that much movement in it. But. Is it going to sag down and end up getting too close to the exhaust? I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm thinking there's some possibilities here. She really likes these bags. I think she's just kind of accepting defeat and just kind of, okay, well, we'll just look for something else. Literally, she could ride it just like that. Oh, did I just knock you, conk you in the noggin there? Oh, but it's going to move in the wind. But we can, or I can, we can, whatever, make adjustments there. Huh, I don't know. All right, let's get the old scuzzy over here before the, it gets too late. There she is, dangling in the breeze. <laughs> And I'm just going to take them to work. I'm just going to throw these, put the tire down in the bed, and then the wheel on top of it. So the disc and whatever don't go banging around. And uh, she'll make it to work fine. That's going to be uh, quite a bit more. No, that's backwards, but it don't matter at this point. But that's going to be uh, quite a bit more aggressive than... And what's on their stock, huh? I'm gonna like it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it a lot. I just hope these uh these tires perform anything like the the Metzlers that I decided to take back. One thing's for sure, I know them Metzlers work really, really well. But uh, I just keep getting people praising these things. So, and these are the um. EO7 pluses. I don't know what changed what makes them a plus. But found a little little chain lube grime and stuff hiding back there. It'll be nice to clean all that out as well. The chain feels nice and pliable. I mean it's got a nice, you know, feeling of an O-ring chain. Nothing kink or kinky or anything like that. Even though the miles are, are low on this thing, it's good to see because I'm I'm a pretty aggressive breaker to uh I don't know why. I think it's just something from from being a kid road racing or something. You know, I don't know why I'm always I always warp disc in cars and blue disc on motorcycles on my own stuff. But anyway, it's fine. I, this thing is almost always you're full on. <laughs> I love the feeling of it too. It's got that motocross feeling where the whole bike just oh, like you're about to do a stoppy. But she's a big old gal. It's weird to think that this bike is a hundred pounds less than this bike. It's pretty wild, huh? Kind of funky. Oh. I didn't show, I, well, I showed you the one, but I took a moment and popped the other one on as well. That's all janky looking and everything, but that's just a, like a mock-up. Just a, I'll leave it sitting there like that and let that stew in my head and come up with, with something else. This pretty much is going to keep it from dropping. 
I'm just concerned when you get a lot of weight in it that it's going to drag the bags down and um, make it ride the muffler. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll just ride with them a couple times with nothing in it or something light in them and just get, get a feel for them. Throw some rain suits in there or something and just get a feel for them. She likes those bags. Anyway, she's probably wondering where I'm at. I'm sure she's hungry. I'm hungry. She's uh she's creeping on the nine o'clock mark, so I need to get on it. So uh that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> I'll be right back with you with the little woman. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. She loves her mat down there. Yes, I do. She goes, whoa, that's pretty cool. She Not goes, how'd you get the bike on there? I said, very carefully. Yes, you have skills. <laughs> not like pushing Harleys around that thing's no problem <laughs> <laughs> you got bigger muscles yeah that thing sure looks good with the bags or bags yeah. bag rails on there mm -hmm. bag mounts whatever you want to yes support yeah yeah bag supports <laughs> so we've looked at a few different bags too um I kind of like the and she likes the look of those burly brand bags but they, you know, they mount specifically to a mount, and uh, that doesn't do us any good. But mm -mm. I don't know. We'll poke around. I, I still haven't totally given up on those uh, Royal Enfield bags. I really like those bags. Me too. I, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking or pondering over it, but I would like to try to work something out with that. Yeah. But anyway, it's about time to have some chow. She can come out here to get me and... and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go head on in. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. Two minutes after 10. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. Thank you guys. You guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye now. Bye.